Hey, 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 Prophetess Janet German here with a surprise pop-up. Let me see if anybody is going to catch on and join me here for a few minutes. Hallelujah. Getting ready to see who's coming. <laughs> All right. I'm seeing some numbers. Now I'm waiting to see some comments, some greetings, and salutations. Come on in, everybody. I know it takes a minute. There we go. Hey, JC, you're the first one. You get the early bird special. <laughs> hey, Paula. Hey, Debbie. How are you doing this afternoon? Hey, Brandy. I hope you and your family are doing much better now, Brandy. How are you guys doing? I know uh, you all have been in some challenges there, but I've been praying for you. Hey, Gloria. How are you? Miss Gloria, you know what? I'm only a couple hours from you, I think. Alonzo, what? Hey, Alonzo. Hey, Edna. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Ginger. How are y'all doing this evening? I'm waiting to see if anybody on Instagram is going to catch on. Hey, Michelle. How are you doing, girl? Hey, Miss Sandra. How are you? Good to see you on here. Hey, Phyllis. Hey, Aggie. Hey, Miss Bessie. You at a concert? <laughs> hey, Miss Faye. Okay. Well, we're just praying for the renewal of that strength on you guys for total uh, strength to come back and uh, renewal and replenishment. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, Dr. LaShawn. Hey, how are you? Hallelujah. What y'all doing today? You here and ready, Miss Brienne? <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. What's going on with everybody? Let's see. Did it, there, I see. Okay, Prophetess Karen, I see you, girl. I see you. Hey, Dion. How are you? Hey, Deb Shay. Hey, Beth. How you doing, woman of God? Hey, Melanie. Haven't seen you in a minute. How are you doing? Hey, Pastor Collier. How are you doing this afternoon? All right. Thank y'all for coming on. Y'all do me a great big favor. Make sure you hit the heart emoji and the wow emoji. Um, you know, like the video. Let's go ahead and get that rolling and flowing. Um, get those numbers going up. I think we're doing pretty good though so far just to come on uh, spontaneously. Amen. All right. Well, Beth, they grow up so fast. Well, happy birthday to your baby girl turning six. How about that? Awesome. Hey, Cella, how are you doing? Or Chella, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. C E L L. A or is that C-E-L-I-A? Celia. Uh, beautiful name either way. Blessings to you. Amen. Hey, Miss Becky. I see you coming in on Instagram. So, y'all, I need you to help me with the power of share. So go right ahead and hit your share button this afternoon. Yes, God is so good. Yes, he is. All the time, right? <laughs> okay. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'm so glad y'all are coming on. Uh, good to see you, Miss Cheryl. Tell your grandsons I said hello. Prophetess German said hello. Okay. Down in Sebring. That's a long way from where I am today. I am in, we are, at, Katie and I are in New Albany, Mississippi. And we are getting ready for uh, meetings here tomorrow. We are super excited to be here. They are already showing us so much love and hospitality. I'm telling you, they are good to us already. <laughs> And we're just excited to be here. Um, I'm going to give you that quick announcement while everybody's coming on and give you guys a chance to go right ahead, please, and share. I need you to share because I did not give warning. I did kind of, well, I guess yesterday I told you I was going to try to come come on and go um, live and do a surprise, but I wasn't sure about the time or anything. So if you all will please do me a great big favor, hit those share buttons, share to your pages, share to your uh, select groups, and also tag some names. I think I saw some people doing that already. And thank you so very much. All right. And um, uh, awesome, Miss Edna. That's great. That is great. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. So that supernatural is getting activated. Amen. Um, yeah, y'all, they brought us up the um, people, lady from the front desk. Get this. I got to share this in a second, but y'all tag some names, tag one at the time, uh, go to your comment section there and hit the at sign. Start typing in the name you want to tag this morning, this afternoon, not this morning. I'm used to being on in the mornings. Okay. This afternoon. And um, then once the name pops up that you're wanting to tag as you type it in then click on it once it pops up it'll put it in those uh, comment sections for you and then um just send them a brief invitation come on surprise pop up you got to get in on it just something really really brief but yet um that'll trigger them to come on okay so i gotta share y'all share this with y'all and then i'm gonna give you the name of the ministry where we are ministering this weekend and we are so uh, glad to be here um it's a long drive for us but 
uh, we made it y'all and we're so glad for God's protection over us. Amen. And, and just uh, keeping us on task and on, um, you know, um, right on target with everything. So we're just glad to be here. We were a little tired once we got in because uh, it was a late hours, um, probably um, Eastern time. It was what, one something a.m.? Yeah. Yeah. It was about one thirty. Yeah. So, but anyway, it was a long day of traveling, especially after being up so early to do the lives and other things that we had to take care of before we left town. But um, we're just so glad that we're here and we've been resting and just kind of chilling today and uh, having, uh, you know, just a good time hanging out here. And so we're excited about it. But I wanted to share this with y'all. They, um, I don't know who it was, but somebody brought us this wonderful basket full of goodies, right? And, uh, I don't know. There's just all kind of stuff in it from <laughs> you name it. It has nuts, it has, you know, gourmet popcorn. It's got uh, specialty cookies. It's just got all the stuff probably that we should not be eating, but we're going to eat a little bit of it at the time. OK, but anyways. Um, yeah. And so when the lady from the front desk brought it up, uh, she was saying that they brought, you know, um, the pastor. I don't know if the pastor brought or one of the ladies from the ministry or whoever brought it. But anyway saying that it was for, for me you know for the minister that i would be ministering there and, and she said i you know she said i can see in you that you are a woman of god y'all that just blessed me so much you hear me <laughs> okay it blessed me tremendously and i said well yes i am and i said i thank you for saying that and sharing that with me that you can see that you ever just wonder do people really see what what's on you or what's in you and you know how you feel about who you are in christ jesus now that is just wonder isn't that wonderful when people recognize that the lord is on your life right mm -hmm. i love that and um you know because that's what we want to be we want to be an example and we want to uh, be a testimony and we want it to be seen on us right we want to see the lord we want the lord to be seen on us right okay all right, Miss Becky sharing something with us over on Instagram. So welcome, Instagram. I'm glad you all are coming in and y'all can direct message some people and share to your stories and maybe tag some names. But watch this. Becky says, I, um, I have to share this. I had a long drive today and I was listening to all the lives from this week. I was on the day you were prophesying about four, four and double. Just a few miles down the road, I saw a and I can't see the rest of the comment. Let's see here. Can you pull that up for me real quick? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Y'all hold tight. In that what that's it, Melanie. We do carry the glory of the Lord. And remember what we uh, those of you that saw was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday that we ministered in our morning live on supernatural activators. And we man, the power of God was so powerful. Oh Lord, it was like fire for the last two days. And we were talking about activating the supernatural and that we are those supernatural activators. OK. OK. All right. So she saw a sign in a barn or on a barn that said 44 farms. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now, the number, you know, number four, it represents a lot of things. But one of the things it represents is open doors, but it also represents dominion and creation and has to do also with the creative time. Uh, lots of things. And so, uh, but what I believe is that, um, <laughs> oh, okay. Also, Laura, I'm, I'm not glad that it's slow at your shop, but I'm glad you're getting able to see us live today. I love you, sweet lady. Amen. And so anyway, we are the supernatural activators of the glory. And so uh, God is activating so much in us, y'all. And we just need to yield to it. We need to stir that up. And I talked about that yesterday, really stirring up the supernatural on the inside of us. We talked about even the gifts of the spirit and various things that God has given us, the tools that he has given us to operate in the supernatural. Once again, I want to say this is that the supernatural realm is the realm is is the realm of the spirit without measure. In other words, there's no limits, there's no bounds, no limitations. Uh, the supernatural realm, and I'm talking about the supernatural realm of God. I'm not just talking about any supernatural. There's a lot of people operating in a supernatural power, but it is not the power of God. It's not the supernatural power of God. We know there's a lot of new age things. There's a lot of mind science. There's a lot of all kind of false gods. There's 
all kinds of things and false religions and things of that nature. Hey, Mr. Murphy, I did not get to reach out to you yesterday. We had a big, huge day of traveling that um, had a few events, <laughs> hiccups <laughs> along the way. And so it was like really, really late when I get in. But I promise you, sir, I'm going to make contact with you in the next couple of days. But I'm so glad to see you on here this afternoon. And I pray you are doing well. Amen. And so um, thank y'all sometimes. I know um, you just have to be patient with me sometimes because things just like happen. But anyhow, um, I just really want you guys to stay focused on uh, really, uh, I know, right, all gravy. You got some biscuits to go with this gravy. <laughs> First the pork chops, you know, pork chops, gravy and biscuit. That's that's Southern cooking right there. I don't, I don't know if everybody is used to that country style, uh, style stuff. But anyways, <laughs> I love you, sir. I appreciate you so much. But anyway, um, uh, so I want us to stay stirred up in the supernatural. I really feel like that, especially in the season and the time that we are in now, there is so much that is happening supernaturally for us. And we're going to have to, hello, uh, is that Tangle? Or, or is that tangy y'all sometimes um because of the lighting um, especially because i'm in a hotel room i can't tell the lettering is not quite where it needs to be for me because it's hard to get the lighting just right now when i'm in my in my own zone uh you know um every day uh doing my lives we have all our lighting and everything that is set up but we don't have all that set up here so if i mispronounce something please charge it to my head not to my heart or to my eyeballs it can't make it out right okay so but blessings to all you and thank you for your kind compliments this afternoon i appreciate it very very much and so anyway i want to just really challenge you because in the time of the season that we're in not only is God moving in the supernatural, but it's going to be necessary for us to move in the supernatural with him. God is wanting to work with us and work through us. OK, because there is much that needs to be accomplished right now. Um, now, we do know that we see out out around us in the outside world. Good afternoon to everybody who's tuning in. We are so glad you're here. Please make sure you share and invite someone in by tagging their name and uh, use that at sign to do that and just give them a brief invitation to come in and join us. But I just wanted to come on here and encourage you a little bit and just kind of give you just a brief, just a small heads up to what I believe we're going to see even in the month of August, because we're getting ready to shift over into a new month. Now, one of the things that we understand about the month of August is that it's the eighth month of the year. Now, y'all, we are getting ready to come in in the next uh, about month and a half or so, a uh, month or two thirds into the month of September, or, you know, we're going to come into a new Hebraic year. So things are going to be very significant, very apostolic, very prophetic over these next um uh, four to six, um, maybe seven weeks. Very, you're going to hear a lot of prophetic things dropped on you because we're getting ready. And if you are picking up on this, I thought it was amazing that this little sweet lady at the front desk last uh, down there that came up and brought our basket to us that she said, I can see that in you. She was, she said, I picked up on that. That's what she said. After she said, I can see that in you. I picked up on it. You're a woman of God. And, um, you know, and, you know, I, I don't know anything about her. She doesn't know anything about me. But we obviously have a kindred spirit called the Holy Spirit who made that visible and uh, allowed her spirit to pick up on that and to discern that, you know. And so I just thought that was really beautiful. But I want you to see because we're transitioning out of July into August. Now, I, these have been there have been some challenging things. And some of you may have even felt like it kind of turned up on you. The heat kind of turned up and you're having to go in a little stronger and nothing wrong with that because you're pressing in faith, but you're also pressing with the supernatural. You have the divine help that you need. I believe I'm helping somebody right here, right now. You have the divine help that you need. It is in you. It's not just around you. It's not just falling from heaven at you. 
I want you to know he is in you. OK, and this this is the time that we're going to see the um, the works, uh, greater works than these uh, that uh, Jesus talked about. Because he said it's profitable for you that I do go back to my father. He said because um, because of the Holy Spirit is going to give us the ability, the capability, the in, in enabling ability to do greater than these things. Okay, so greater than these. When Jesus walked the earth, he could only uh, you know uh, do so much at one time himself. But he began to train, call, train, and develop a people who would operate in the same self same anointing and glory that he was operating as he walked the earth so that when he ascended and he sent holy spirit to indwell the believer that he would not only be with us but he would be in us and i believe that he will he is working with us in signs wonders and miracles okay so i want you to listen i don't want you to reduce yourself down to human OK, I do not want you to, to uh, reduce your. No, you are supernatural beings. You are not human beings. You are. Su I know there's an element of you that is human. OK, you are divinity first and then you are humanity. Let me say that again. I am divinity first, which is my supernatural being. And then I am humanity second. OK, OK. And God's divinity he put in me by breathing into you and I like he did to Adam. OK, the second or the last Adam Christ Jesus has breathed into us through the new birth. Come on, somebody. We've been regenerated and we are now mature sons and daughters of God who are being manifested in the earth. And the only way that we can manifest as the mature sons of God, glory to God is to um, move and operate in the supernatural. You're going to have to literally go at everything you have and are and will ever be with the supernatural. Okay. Uh, there's a son of man. Every one of us, we are, we, we are housed in a physical body. We are born as a son to a man or daughter to a man and a woman. Okay. We, that's how we come forth in our humanity, but we are first divinity because uh, we were, we were with him before the foundations of the world. And that can only be done through the spirit realm. That can't be done through just, you know, natural human ability. Okay. So um, you are first divinity, which is your supernatural being. And then your second humanity. OK. And when you begin to bring your humanity into subjection and yield it to the boy, I feel the Holy Ghost on me here. Hallelujah. And yield it to the supernatural ability of the supernatural being that you are as a son. Hallelujah. The, one of the manifested sons of God, the one of the firstborn of many brethren. You're one of those many brethren that became the first fruits of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, you are going to operate like him. You you may be walking around with flesh and blood, with a mind, with a body, with thoughts, with, uh, you know, with reasoning, with intellect. But I am telling you by the spirit of God, the real you is supernatural. And when you bring all of that humanity under the divine order and the submission of your divinity, divinity, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, you are going to operate as God men and God women in the earth. Amen. And, and, you know, Daniel talked about that they who know their God, how do you know God is through an intimate relationship with him? See, God wanted a family. OK, OK. He wanted a family. He wanted relationship. OK, so that's why he brought us into the earth is to have relationship. He didn't want an entity in an organization. He wanted a real family who is in intimate relationship with him. He wanted a bride. You understand? A bride who he would adorn with his glory. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's what he's done with us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Creating us all the way back to Genesis, y'all. He created us in his image and in his likeness. So we are a reflection and a representation of him we may be uh you know here in our humanity in this world and in this earth because really you it is illegal for a spirit to uh, be, uh and unlawful for a spirit to operate in the earth without 
a body okay okay so the holy ghost hallelujah in the earth hallelujah sent by christ jesus it is illegal for him to operate without having a body a bride to operate through okay so i'm here to tell you that it is your it is your divine right it is your divine inheritance that you walk through this earth acting like who you really are created in the image and the likeness of him as divinity the spirit of the lord god is upon me but it's not only upon me it's within me once it's within me then it can come back up on me by coming through me you know and it starts that reciprocation process that um you know uh, that there's a perpetual move of the divinity of god in the earth through us as his agents of change okay so i just man this is good teaching isn't it charlene this is awesome right this is what you call kingdom talk today okay kingdom talk amen so good evening to uh tammy all the way from las vegas oh whoop whoop hallelujah where else are y'all watching from today listen listen walk in the supernatural okay walk in the supernatural live in the supernatural move in the supernatural i mean we were sitting eating lunch today um it's actually been a minute since I've been in a McAllister's Deli, and I love it. When we lived in Alabama, we had one that was about 30 minutes from us. And, um, you know, I know there's some probably within maybe an hour of us where we are now. But um, so I haven't been to one in, in several years. But um, we went over across one right across the street from our hotel here. And I, I like their food. It's fresh. It feels good and, and light and don't feel heavy. It feels healthy. And so, um, you, you know, so I had some, uh, I don't know, I had chicken salad and, and some uh, soup, you know, and, and stuff like that. Um, uh, really kind of just left off the bread and ate the chicken salad and had some, uh, you know, some salad mix of greens with that. But um, we were sitting there and all of a sudden I said to Katie, I said, oh, my God, I feel the Holy Ghost all over me. It's like a surge hit me right in there. And the next thing I know, my apostolic grace came on me and I just began to speak out things to her and she would speak back to me. And we had this whole dialogue going in the Holy Ghost, you know, and people all around us probably didn't have a clue what in the world. But you know what? Right there, we were dropping supernaturalness right in that place. So it could just go out and just flow through the place, you know, and just so many. I'm so glad you're able to be on to Honda. I pray you all are being built up with this. OK. And uh, yeah, the tea is fabulous. It's your, I didn't drink tea. I try to be good and drink water with lots of lemon. But, um, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, get back on track with some things and just make some wise choices and, you know, just uh, really just build my immune system and get consistent with some things that I need to be consistent with, you know, and, um, you know, just protecting the, um, the temple of the Lord and, you know, just trying to do better, not rigid, not, not um, uh, legalistically, just trying to listen to Holy Spirit spirit just make some wash hey 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 brandon spiker i see you going to north carolina and congratulations to you on that this afternoon i'm excited i think this is a god move i know it's a god move for you guys i felt it from the time i listened to the video on it and i'm really excited for all god is going to be doing through you guys but you know we're talking about the supernatural here okay we're talking about the supernatural because we're not on all right all right apostle flynn sir where you been i've been missing you sir i was thinking about you a couple of days ago and i'm so glad to see you on amen so i just want to challenge you all to keep the supernatural stirred up on the inside of you i believe that we are going into uh such a month here even of what i feel is not just new beginnings but a supernatural fatness that i believe i heard the holy spirit tell me even this afternoon i heard the holy spirit say um um you know the old doors are shut and new gates um are opening and i believe that these gates are the gates of the supernatural and one of the things that i shared with you guys on friday on yesterday on our live is that tongues is a gateway into the supernatural uh man i'm so glad you're healed sir i'm sorry to hear that you've been sick but i'm glad that you are well and blessed and god is your healer and you coming out better <laughs> better than ever amen we decree it so i want you to know that as we shift out of july we talked about the eagle flying and the and the uh amen gates in the spirit they're the gates of the fatness of the lord because what we'll see 
as we transition out of this month and coming into the month of August is, um, and, and, and something I want you to see is that the pictograph for, um, um, for um, the number eight in the Hebrew is um, the, um, what you call it, the infinity sign, the infinity sign. OK, and so what I want you to see is the supernatural, um, the supernatural realm of God is infinite. It's inexhaustible that you you can't find the beginning or the ending. It's always been it always will be and will continue to be. It's eternal It's always it's already been set in motion for us. And it, it, I believe we were created in the realm of the supernatural. And so we already know, God have mercy, what is on me? It, we already know how to function there. Uh, you were created for the supernatural and the supernatural was created for you are actually created out of you were set in motion from that dimension of the supernatural. OK, now, when you got born as a son of man into the earth, then uh, somewhere along the way, you had to come in contact with a spiritual awakening that regenerated, that caused you to come forth again, to be born again and come back forth into the um, whoo, glory to God, the environment by which you came from. You were born into the first time. So what it is, is a recon connection emerging and a marrying if you please back to the infinity by which you came from out of the supernatural realm with god i'm talking kingdom here today let's talk kingdom okay so there's where your true identity okay this is what god said to jeremiah in chapter one he said before i formed thee in the belly i already knew you had already become intimate i had an intimate relationship with you you and i came together as one hallelujah when that it ah, when that intimacy took place there was an ordination i re released on your life jeremiah to be a prophet to the nations so what there is going on a regeneration hallelujah a re creation hallelujah a remarrying a reconnecting a re uh, to joining hallelujah you back to to what you were originally created for and created out of hallelujah this world ain't your home because you didn't come from here <laughs> and when i talk about the world i'm talking about the cosmos all that all that world system stuff that's not, no you were created for the earth you were created for the earth because the heavens uh, belong to the Lord, but the earth hath he, hath he given to the children of men. So therefore, you've got to ignite and begin to release, my God, your divinity in this space of humanity. Hallelujah. Begin to rule and reign as priests and kings unto God. Hallelujah. Moving in and in, in taking occupancy in your right jurisdiction, your right territory. Come on, somebody. Taking the land and moving into the fatness of that land because i want you to see what the number eight means it is not just fullness in and of itself it is not just um, a completion of sevens as we know it but it is a satiation and a saturation it is literally means the supernatural more than enough okay and so it's where you transcend out of the natural and you shift over into the supernatural and everything begins to react and respond to that that okay whoo so jeremiah uh had already been intimate or god had already been intimate and had a relationship with him in his spiritual state of divinity by which he was being born out of the loins of god and so when he manifested in the earth hallelujah he was already set apart <laughs> he was already called to be a prophet you understand you understand from the beginning, God declares the ending from the beginning. So we've got to start releasing that divinity part of us. OK, we've been we've been trapped up. Y'all excuse me, but we've been crapped up in our humanity where our soul has been trying to rule and be in dominion and dominating force. And, and our soul has blocked us and it stopped us up, literally has constipated the people of God from being able to uh, flow in who they really are in their supernaturalness. 
what is on me this afternoon? I know what's on me. Jesus, I just say that. I don't know why I say it, but I do, okay? So I want you to just begin to move in this. Now tell your head to shut up. Tell all those lying symptoms to go right back to the pit where they came from. Rise up, call yourself blessed. Step over into the supernatural um, divinity that the Lord has placed you in because that's the real you is the superhuman. You're a superhuman. Amen. Hallelujah. You're a supernatural being. Glory to God. Woo, that was good. That was good. Who anybody got a question? Anybody got a comment? Anybody um want to say something right there? Just, you know, just feel free. Just feel free. But um, I, you know, I just want to encourage you and challenge you that all the power, all the ability, all the gifts, all the fruit. All the miracle signs and wonders. Okay. So as we slide over here, um, old doors are being shut and new gates. Gates are bigger than doors. Okay. So new gates are being opened up for us that we're going to walk through. Okay. I believe there's a new creative anointing and a recreated anointing that is going to really rise on the people of God. Okay. All right. Um, uh, literally, you're stepping over into a time of um, and not just a time, but literally the lifestyle. We've been creating a supernatural. We have the supernatural life of God within us, but we're also going to be living the supernatural lifestyle. OK, where no plague comes in our dwelling. No plague comes in our dwelling. OK, uh, not terror by day, nor pestilence, uh, pestilence of the day or terror by night. We're going to come into a place where these things will not have any raw or ruthless effect or relentless effect on us. I just believe this, but we have to grab hold of this. You've got to believe this. OK, you can't be whining and crying. You can't be. Oh, I don't feel good. I don't know what's going on. I just can't seem to get my breakthrough. No, that's your soul trying to talk. That's your son of man trying to talk. So stay over and keep yourself literally built up on your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost. Another thing I, I believe that is happening right now as we especially are transitioning into the month of August. Um, um, and I'm, I'm going to be uh, getting into more detailed things about this, but I just wanted to share a couple of highlight reels with you because I like to break things down as we go through the month. And sometimes God will give me like a page full of things and specific things to tell you uh, going in. But as we go through the month, it unfolds in a greater measure. OK, and so um, what I want you to see is that I believe that your uh, uh, discerning of spirits, the ability to discern of uh, discern of the right or the wrong, the ability to really discern things where wisdom and understanding is concerned, giving unto us, really kicking up to another notch, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Christ. There, right now, as I'm speaking, the spirit of the Lord says to tell you, there is a fresh horn of oil. In new beginnings, there's new oil, there's fresh oil, there's fresh anointing, there's fresh wisdom, there's fresh insight. As we're moving into this month of, of uh, new beginnings, of old doors closing, new, uh, new gates opening, uh, things a uh, greater spread, things uh, broader openings, okay? Double doors. You got to see that. Things coming and happening in, in pairs, right combinations of things coming together finally, right ingredients causing things to explode. I believe I'm prophesying over you right now. And, and God is releasing. I'm almost through here but watch this god is releasing these fresh oils. you pick up the horn because god is pouring in fresh oil there's new assignments there's new alignments there's new associations there's fresh new beginnings new beginnings that are not starting at ground zero but you are starting from and in a place of fatness fatness means it's rich it's rich oh it's rich it's fat it's dripping with oil I've been talking about how that God kept Israel when she was, uh, you know, when uh, 
He was walking through that burning desert uh, sand in the wilderness, right? We talked about God com uh, comforting the waste places, uh, making the wilderness like Eden and the desert like the garden of the Lord so that the waters begin to spring up, new springs of living water, new uh, rivers of God springing forth. Um, there's going to be like a convergence of things that is going to begin to happen that is the same Holy Spirit, but you're going to begin to see that a convergence of things coming together and then causing a spreading abroad into many directions. I just heard that by the Spirit of the Lord, many directions, one stream going in many directions. So there's going to be an in gathering. When we come into Rosh Hashanah on September the 7th and the 8th, listen, one of the biggest harvests I believe that's ever been known in the kingdom of God is going to be flowing in like floodgates open, wide open for huge spread coming in at the shout of the new Hebraic year. Things are happening right now that are leading up to that, an accumulation, amen, a combination of things coming together. And I'm telling you, I believe by the spirit of the Lord, glory to God, it's going to be one of the biggest harvest times ever. We are literally in the time where God is restoring the years. This is literal. It is not just spiritual. It is literal. God is restoring the years. Okay. I want you to guard your mouth, guard your heart, guard your mind, guard your eyes, guard everything, guard your ministry, guard your business, uh, guard your family. Don't leave anyone uncovered. Don't leave anybody out there naked and open that they can be uh, subjected to an attack that is not necessary in the mighty name of Jesus. For goodness sakes, men and women of God, it is time for us to walk in the wisdom of God. OK, and he's going to give us supernatural wisdom, supernatural intelligence. Hallelujah. God is going to speak things to you that will seem secular and natural, but it is coming out of the supernatural because God is not only going to protect you spiritually. He's going to protect you physically, mentally. I'm prophesying here. I hope somebody's catching this. OK, he's going to protect you mentally. He's going to protect you physically. He's going to protect you emotionally. He's going to guard and protect your finances. I am telling you right now. Hallelujah. I feel this so strong. He's going to protect our families. He is going to protect environments. I sense even a new purging and a new purification that is coming in natural um, environments. Amen. Yes, I do. I feel this so strong. I am not going to hop on this bandwagon of, of prophesying doom and gloom and how everything's going to fall apart and go to hell. Yes, there are some things that are going to be happening, but you're going to have to stand up and discern the wisdom of the Lord and follow the whole Holy Ghost, and you're gonna you're gonna have to kick in in the supernatural, and you're gonna have to guard the gates of your lives. Come on, somebody! You're gonna have to guard your mind. You're gonna have to rule your spirit, okay, so that you are not a city without walls, and that everything can come in on you. Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus, there will not be any. Un unnecessary, illegitimate imploding in your life. Things are not going to implode, but the Holy Ghost and the supernatural is going to explode through your lives. I don't abandon bro sakia. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel this real strong and I didn't know I was even going to prophesy all that, but I release it to you now in the name of Jesus. I'm asking you to hit your share buttons right now and let somebody else receive what you're receiving right now. Okay. So it's going to be a month of super supernatural fatness. You guys, listen to me. You're going to Timon Roman Zekea. Hallelujah. You are going to have to know and put this thing into action. Okay. Okay. Because you can produce in supernatural levels and burst out an increase on all sides when, um, uh, you know, and, and, and be firm and planted in your roots going down deep and spreading. Hallelujah. Abroad, like I said, that convergence of things where it's one river, but it's spreading out abroad. Hallelujah. Many branches coming out of one tree for we are the planting of the Lord and the anointing of fatness is on us. We're going to have the richness of the anointing, the richness of the glory, the richness of finances. Come on, somebody who's going to receive this. You're going to prosper 
prosper. You're going to prosper in a time when it looks like it's impossible to prosper. You're going to come into a wealthy place when it looks like there's no way possible for you to come in because you are a supernatural being. You're operating in that divinity and not allowing your humanity to come up and override that and supersede that. But the opposite, you're going to cause, um, you're going to move in the fatness anointing so that, watch this, the supernatural supersedes, it transcends the natural you're going to shift you are flat foot going to soar in this time e3 e, listen ephesians 320 you can make it your motto baby i got it on my arm now and i ain't even ashamed to show you listen to me by the spirit of god i am telling you by the spirit of god you are going to soar above and beyond in a time where it's going to look like everything all around you in, in, in worldly market, in worldly systems, and all kinds of things are plummeting and taking a nosedive. You won't take a nosedive, baby. Like a rocket, you're going to be launched and you're going to soar above and beyond. You're going to rise and increase, I mean, rapidly above, hallelujah, the usual level because the uncommon and the extraordinary is resting on your life because of the supernatural. Will somebody just lift your hands and receive that right there in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who I got to get off of here. I didn't even know all that was in there to come out. See what I'm talking about when you start using what's there. When you just take the step of faith. I got Katie over here in agreement with me. Amen. And I'm glad she is. When you you just speak out and, and you're going to pick up your your all of your sensory points. I don't even know if that makes sense. But all of your sensory points. Hallelujah. You're not going to be desensitized. All the sensors, the supernatural Holy Ghost sensors on the inside of you, from your eyes to your ears, to your nose, to your mouth, to your feet, to your hands, to your brain, your very brain activity. The supernatural is kicking in on that thing and you're going to have such a discernment in the spirit and hallelujah. You won't have to turn to the left or the right. The Holy Ghost will gear you and steer you all at the same time. And you'll begin to move. Hallelujah. One time many, many years ago, and, and I'm, I'm going to give this example and I'm going to get off of here. But one time many years ago, um, um, I awakened one one night and I heard my husband up. It was like 1.30 something, I don't know, 1.30 I think in the morning or so. And um, when I awakened, I felt an unusual presence in the house, but I knew it was not demonic. I knew it was the presence of the Lord. I thought maybe he was sick and not feeling very well and um, and 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 uh, he was up maybe having to take some medication or, or, or to pray himself through whatever. Well, um, I kind of minded my own business for a little bit and just laid there because I didn't want to mess. There was such mess with it because there was such a holy presence of God in our house. And I, it was it was. It was strange, but I knew it was holy, God, holy strange. It wasn't weird and demonic or new age or witchcrafty, none of that stuff. It wasn't that. I knew it was the Lord, but I felt like, okay, just stay put for a minute. But then a little, it just continued to go on. And when I got up and I went, I went to check on him and y'all, um, what I wish witnessed for the next four and a half hours, literally until like 530 or six in the morning was I watched uh, my husband and he is he was literally overtaken by the supernatural and uh, he was very animated. He was acting out things. He would shift positions in the room. All kinds of things would happen. I never saw anything like it. I mean, he had such an encounter with God. Um, the Lord showed him things that were going on in our ministry, things that were going on in family situations. It showed him things that he had to go and address. And they were not fun things either that he had to go and dress and speak into family members and speak into the church. And the Lord revealed a lot that was um, going on and gave him specifics, even names and exactly what was going on there. OK, now this is no lie. When when that encounter finally came to an end that morning, my husband was literally blind for like three days. I drove him around. I took him everywhere. It made me much think of the experience that Saul, who became Paul, had on the road to Damascus. He literally, because um, during the course of this, 
there was so much uh, manifestation, emotional manifestation and animation in the spirit that uh, he cried, he laughed, he wept, he groaned. It, it was I, I, before nor since have I ever seen an encounter like that. And literally for three days, he could not find, he had to put on uh, sunshades. He couldn't open his eyes. If he tried to open, he would continuously wipe his eyes. And I dri drove him around. We even met with some pastors who were also apostles and prophets and shared this experience with them and was getting some clarity on some things. And I literally, I sat down, he told me to get a notebook and I sat down and he said, I want you to write down. This is everything. Cause he couldn't see, he couldn't see how to write. OK. And so he told me, he said, I need you to write everything down that the Lord showed me. And I mean, it was a page full of stuff. I, I, I lie not, Becky. It was it was crazy. I never saw anything uh, like that before nor since. OK. And so um, I, the only reason I'm the reason I'm saying this is because the Holy Spirit brought this up. But what the Holy Spirit is trying to show us is that our sensory of. Uh, uh, systems, our sensors on the inside of us are really going to kick up into another notch. And there's going to be such great sensitivity and discernment in the spirit. And there are going to be kind of times when God is saying, going to say, don't go here, don't go there, uh, go here, or um, I want you to stay here. I want you to uh, shut in with me. I know that sounds kind of elementary as far as what I'm talking about, but there's going to be, don't, and, and some of you are going to literally feel like you're on sensory overload. It's going to be coming so strong, so intense, but it's God. And you're going to want to keep things handy that you can either record or you can write down because God is going to be speaking really strong in this time and in this season to you. And great revelation is coming to you. Great revelation. But with the revelation is going to be interpretation of things of how to apply, when to apply, who to apply it with. Come on, somebody and where to release it. So there is a release that is coming, OK, where things have been trapped up and things have felt like they might have been, um, you know, stagnant, held up or I'm just going to use it constipated. There's a release that's going to come through. I know that's not a good word maybe to use when you're ministering, but that's the word I keep hearing. So that release is coming because some things have got to be unblocked and unstopped so that the healthy flow of the supernatural can come through God's people again. You're going to be called upon for this. You've got to know this. There's going to be a demand for the supernatural that operates in your life on daily basis. You, There's going to be a demand for that supply. OK, so I want you to stay ready. I want you to stay prayed up. I want you to. Uh, and this is not like legalistic things or just do do something more. No, I want you to keep that flow stirred up praying, praising with understanding and, and in the Holy Ghost. I want you to keep, um, uh, you know, your mind. I want you, uh, Lord Jesus, I want you to keep your mind free. Keep your life clutter free. Let God have a straight highway through your life that you have cast up that highway on purpose for the king of glory to come riding through and into your life to give you fresh encounter, but then also to administer that through you into other people's lives and other situations. How many of you have been feeling this? And, and, and just let me know. And I am, I am, I am out. Okay. Let me know who has been, um, yeah, a, a healthy flow is coming forth. Um, so that things are easier and freer, freer. They're not difficult to bring through you. I, I ain't trying to be ugly and gross. And I mean, some people would laugh right now, but I, I really am not. OK, I really am not. I didn't even know I was going to say all that. But I just yeah, just just let God flow through you and stir up that supernatural. OK, now, I'm really excited about this. It's It's a powerful time. And it's, a, it's an explosive time. It's an explosive time. You know, sometimes they use explosives to to blow something open, to open it up, right? To open it up. Okay. So there are some Holy Ghost explosives. Wow, Cindy, this is awesome. And I want you to recognize that too, that because you've been feeling that attack. Okay. Um, Jesus. I believe that 
the Holy Spirit, the supernatural is calling in the big guns for us. Okay. The, the real big guns are coming in because, um, you know, not, um, you know, in timing, but also in intensity. Okay. The big, humongous, magnificent, marvelous things are being released right now. I don't know. There is something about this next eight weeks. I'll, I'm, I'm telling you this next eight weeks, mark the word of the prophet. Okay. Mark the words of the prophet, the next eight weeks. Okay. Just mark it off the next eight, eight weeks. There's so many supernatural things that are going to be happening to you in you and then begin to flow through you because God is, God is unstopping some wells, uh, uh, bursting some dams, D A M S um, uh, tearing down some walls. There's some access being granted, you know, in the supernatural realm of God that is really, 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 really. Okay. Really. Okay. So the big guns are coming out, Miss Edna, to combat this. Okay. And I want y'all to move in the supernatural and I want you to be calling for fatness. Don't let an attack in your finances get you off and out of your divinity. Stay in it. Call those things that be not those words. Release the supernatural because you're coming into the supernatural overflow, intangible release. Okay. Don't you dare take no for an answer. Don't you stop. You keep going for it, in it, hallelujah, and moving about with it, okay? Because you, I'm telling y'all, you got, and y'all got to believe bigger. Stop this. Don't just believe God for little stuff. I want you to put your faith out there. One of the things I told my daughter that I believe God is really, I said, I feel so strongly in my spirit is people need to really make a focal point of coming out of debt supernaturally. Believe God for fatness, supernatural overflow, not just the completion of sevens, supernatural overflow, fatness that transcends the natural gets you into the supernatural. OK, so I'm done. I really got to get off of here. I want to eat a little bit of dinner and uh, then I'm uh, focusing on uh, my time to be prepared for tomorrow and which I've already been doing uh, throughout um, this week, actually, and, and in my time of prayer and preparation. But tomorrow is going to be a very powerful day, very explosive day here. And uh, this man of God is ready. Uh, Pastor Stephen Woods, he is ready and he is believing God for specific, even personal things. Amen. Yeah, I, you know, I believe this is a need for that supernatural move through the company of the sons of God to establish his kingdom in the earth through kingdom people. I'm telling you, it's huge. It is so big. It is just so big. That's awesome. See? See, Ginger, praise God, praise God. Come out supernaturally. Believe God to supernaturally. There's a thing called supernatural money and finances, okay? And don't y'all let nobody mess you up on that. You just believe God, okay? You're supernatural activate, activators of that. You're covenant commanders of divine wealth and supernatural debt cancellation. And that's in some of this release because I'm telling you, we've been trapped up in debt. Um, I was sharing yesterday that um, there is very little debt I have left, two vehicles, I think. And everything else is just um, daily or weekly or monthly expenses, you know, living expenses. Um, you know, but I am also believing God for a brand new home as well. And so, um, you know, um, I'm telling you, everybody, you're coming out of owing into owning and it's time for it. OK, I don't care what ever happened down through the bloodline of your family. Listen to me about the spirit of the Lord. This is your moment here. OK, and I want you to receive this. OK, and you got to sow for it. You're going to have to sow for divine wealth as well. And that's that's what I've done. I've literally, literally gone out of my mind. sowing. I can't sow enough. I, I don't know. I am so focused on this thing because I'm going to get this supernatural release. I am determined. I'm determined, but I'm not just determined in my flesh. But I know I'm going to have to work the principles in order for this thing to happen. And I know, hallelujah, I'm going to keep calling that thing forth. The money just keeps on coming and it's the Lord that keeps bringing it in. I'll never be broke another day in my life. Amen. I owe no man nothing but to love him. Oh, I'm out of debt. All my needs are met. I got plenty more to put in store. I'm a money magnet. I'm, I got big millionaire, billionaire and trillionaire status. And I'm going to go ahead and say my makeup work gazillionaire status on the inside of me because I'm telling you, I'm going to do something in this kingdom of God, you know, and I'm blessing people. I'm helping meet the needs of other people. You know, I believe there is a philanthropist anointing that wants to come on more than just a few select people around the world. Amen. 
I believe God wants to do that through his people so that we're shifting culture. Hallelujah. That we walk heaven. We leave a big imprint. This can only take place through the supernatural, y'all. Okay. So y'all come on with it and let's roll with it. Amen. Uh, so tomorrow, if there's anybody, I don't know, anybody watching us who is here close by in the nearby in the area, but we are in New Albany, Mississippi. We will be at Living Word Faith Center. I love the name of the church. Living Word Faith Center under the leadership of hallelujah of uh, pastor stephen woods who operates under the lordship of jesus christ amen their location is 105 b as in blessed highway 15 south right here in new albany mississippi it will be a early early service 8 30 a.m and that is central time okay that is central time 8 30 a.m so with that being said i will not do my typical normal sunday morning live but we will take you into the live service tomorrow morning. And that will be 8.30 a.m. Central and it'll be 9.30 a.m. Eastern. OK, so I just wanted to tell you all that 8.30 a.m. East uh, Central. Once again, 8.30 a.m. Central and 8.30 a.m. Uh, 9.30 a.m. Eastern. And then in the evening, it's 5.30 p.m. Central and at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. We will be streaming live as far as I know, and we have a good connection there. We will be streaming live on um, on Facebook and YouTube. Are you streaming on Instagram? Not sure. We'll have to see. So if you don't see us pop up on Instagram, it'll probably, be, I know it'll be on YouTube and it will be on Facebook. So I wanted to let y'all know right off the bat so that you won't be wondering where I am. We are at 8.45 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. Um, we will take you live into our live service. Amen. Dr. LaShawn, I believe you got it, girl. And I do too. Amen. And so, um, you know, I'm just going to do this. I don't normally if I do a pop up, but I just feel impressed of Holy Spirit to do this, to give you an opportunity to sow this afternoon. I really wasn't going to do that at all. But for the last five, 10 minutes, the Holy Spirit's been impressing upon me. Let the people sow. See, every time we sow, we're sowing to the supernatural. We're sowing to the spirit and it is unlocking and it's unleashing and it's releasing supernatural things to us. Listen, listen, you are about to receive on levels you didn't even know you could receive on. Thank you, Ginger, for putting that in there. 8.30 a.m. Central, 9.30 a.m. Eastern, 5.30 p.m. Central and 6.30 p.m. Eastern. And that will be streamed for sure on Facebook and YouTube and possibly on Instagram. So just be looking for that. So if you want to sow a seed this afternoon, if you feel led of the spirit of the Lord, or as you feel led of the Lord to do that, then do so. There's the links. It is, and I'll give it to Instagram. It is JanetGermanMinistries.com. If you look to the bottom of the screen, if you're watching through the multi-streaming, either through Facebook or YouTube, you will find it there. Okay. JanetGermanMinistries.com. Com. That is our direct website. You can go to sow a seed page and sow your seed there. If you want to use the PayPal direct link, it is paypal.me forward slash J-G-M-I-M. Once again, that's paypal.me forward slash J-G-M-I-M. You can sow to the ministry if you desire to sow a personal seed. You can do that as well, but you'll need to designate it in the note area. Okay. If you want to use Cash App, it is a dollar sign Janet German M-I-M. Or you can use the personal cash app if you want to sell a personal seed as a dollar sign, Janet German. If you want to mail your seed, it is P.O. Box 1011 Bartow, Florida 33831. Amen. And so thank you for all of you who will be sowing today. We thank God for you. And, uh, you know, um, just do whatever the Lord tells you to do. That's all we're asking. Like I said, I wasn't even planning on doing that. But the Holy Spirit has been dealing with me on it for about the last five to 10 minutes that we've been releasing the word into your life. So I'm giving you that opportunity to sow to the word, sow to the anointing and sow to the woman of God. So just whatever he says unto you, do that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I know, I know, I know that riches of that fatness anointing is on your life, but we're decreeing and declaring and prophesying over you. This release that we're talking about by moving in the supernatural, do not forget you are supernatural activators. Okay. And you are moving in the supernatural overflow, not only that live in the supernatural life, but the supernatural lifestyle. So blessings. I love you all so much and thank God for you. And I, I just want to express my gratitude to all of those who are constantly, consistently covering us in prayer. Amen. Covering us in prayer. Um, interceding for us, covering our family, covering our ministry, covering everything about us. 
I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for uh, so many of you from time to time that you inboxes or you messages just to check on us. Even when you know we're traveling, you you release and express those, uh, you know, that you're covering us and sending us and safe travels and successful journeys. And let me tell you something. We appreciate that and thank God for you. I am telling you right now, that is such a blessing to our life. Thank you for just thinking of us, for just checking on us. That means so much to uh, myself and Katie, our family. I mean, you know, because you care about more. You, you're concerned about more than just uh, the ministry part. You care about us personally. And that just means so much to us. And uh, I just pray heaven's rich reward on you for that. Thank you for doing whatever, um, you know, tools and using whatever tools you have to have an actual relationship and not just to be one who is, uh, you know, who is getting and receiving, but you're also pouring back in to help strengthen and renew and replenish us. I thank you all for it. The Lord bless all of you. Amen. And uh, so don't forget, um, we will not do the typical live tomorrow. We will take you into our live service tomorrow morning. And that will be 8.30 a.m. on the central time or 9.30 a.m. on Eastern. And then on the evening, it's 5.30 uh, central and it's 6.30 um, p.m. Eastern. Did I get it all right? I think I did. Praise God. Man, I love you guys so much. Supernatural fatness and overflowing. No, you got it. Daniel is yours and I'm having to. Amen. So much love to all of you. Have a great rest of your weekend and be sure to tune in and join us in those live services as you can or if you can. And if you can't, you can always come back and watch the replay. Always hashtag replay. Comment just like you're live in the service or in the in the in the uh, you know the release of the on the broadcast with us. We just appreciate you all. We cover you. We bless you. You did, but go back and watch that replay, Teresa. I I gave a surprise pop up today. I didn't give y'all a heads up too much. So anyway, you will be blessed, girl. So go back and uh, watch that replay amen hallelujah love you all much love to each and every one of you to you and your families to your ministries and to everything that concerns your life hallelujah god bless you and uh we'll be looking forward to um interacting with you tomorrow now you know i'll be up with a mic and i won't be able to see y'all but katie will be uh monitoring the lives and running that for you but you just act interact and engage with us just like you're in that service with us. Okay. Good night, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.